Mishnama Jonathan. Oh, in Hinashwanich Alku Shalawishash. Tukin, Tukin, Nam Shalawisha. Why are you on? Chaunas and Tuna. Chaunich Nam and Tuna. Ah. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. John Nichnash and Tuna. I didn't Amish. sleep well. Mishnama Annie. Nichnashwa. Amish. Mishnam. Mishnam Kutkutsha. Mike, my wash is just loud in the background, making all that noise. Did that sound like a washer? <laughs> <laughs> Do your stomach growling sound. <laughs> oh, what's the sound, Fred? Speaking of uh, speaking of uh, you know sound effects like that, um, you know that was always the way that uh, the, the our elders would tell stories, and it just kind of rolled over onto us to learn how to tell stories that way, and. Uh, like our grandmother would, you know, talk about maybe like a loud car that would be going by that had a bad muffler or no muffler, you know. Ah, Shinpa, Shinpa Yanui, you know, who, who's here? And then she'd, you know, make the sound of the car, you know, ha la 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 la. Oh, Payanui, Shimon Payanui, Halalalala, you know, who's here with a loud car? This sound is funny. And, uh, but that's uh, just how that, uh, you know, they, they make those sounds that way. And the Kumun Patamna Nachan Hanna, you know, how they would tell the stories. Uh, hey, Shin Pawakna. Colville tribes, pa. who's there today? <laughs> Is that you, Joey? Yeah, Joey, Leslie, and Julie. Oh, commission. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joey, did you guys go to Nespila? I mean, to uh, Lapway or Spalding? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Mr. Bennett. Nick Meisky. Nick Meisky. Hey. Mercedes, Nick Meisky. Uh, it seemed like the last uh, uh, few lessons that we've been going over, uh, we had a pretty deep discussion in uh, Ali Kalat's language lesson yesterday. And what we were really talking about was like, you know, when we say certain things in order to keep that conversation going, when we continue to talk about, uh, you know, other areas, um, you know, like when we begin to say something, um, and I'll just give you an example. I'll see if I can uh, give you an example of like, like how we would maybe say, uh, and a Kupa, 
papatukan tawaluk pamin atau itu mipa abknawat jau naku na kuna muya unat da na kuna mak enut da koy tawaluk iway nasha iwa khamijan naku pa Nishwina na knash kuna swap taika naksh of taika swashat meow kulal kulal ki niku musna sinwea niku napta winchma pa our ashapniash and the mishnish our patachta kunki ay atmite abhnawat yao ku kwaish wimia chiao kapal. Um, so what I had said was that earlier I had gone over to where, you know, our loved ones are buried and a couple of brothers, they asked me to come there because they had set up a flagpole, a retracting flagpole so they could fly that American flag, but they also put a tribal flag on it because their father was uh, a veteran. And uh, so they set that flagpole in uh, cement and then they attached the flags to it and then they raised it up. And so I sang a song as they had asked just out of, uh, you know, uh, just for that gesture. But as I was talking, I was saying anaku, nauku, you know, and I kept filling in to continue on with what I was saying. Chikush um, iwa. Anaku. Nasinwecha. And this is how it is when we talk. So, um, you know, and it, it has taken, uh, you know, it has taken uh, continuous uh, language study uh, to be able to just learn like specific words, like even just a word for a, the flag itself, you know, the, the Tawaluk and the word for, you know, like for it being, you know, standing, you know, like uh, on the, that flagpole, uh, um, you know, because the pole itself, you know, is, it was called Twa, you know, like, like a TV pole, but, uh, but you know, if a pole is used for something else, like, um, like, uh, oh, I'm not sure what we'd call a flag pole if we would call it Chawaluk uh, Shine uh, Twa, you know, like something like that, you know, like, because I didn't realize that we had words for those kinds of things. Um, So this is just something I'm just kind of just making a statement about that we had a they got a flagpole, and we would have had a a flag, a tribal flag, ceremony today, but we lost a a tribal member and who's also a veteran, and so uh, so when we have those kind of uh, matters that happen, then we just cancel cancel out on uh, those type of things and. But uh, ever since we've had a tribal flag, we've, uh, you know, there's been a designated day by the general council of the tribe to, you know, to have a, you know, a atmait imatalam slanmi tawalushna atmait. Imatalam Sami Chavaluksh Atmite 
like that. Yeah, the tribal uh, Umatilla tribe flag honoring. I hope my gulping sounds don't make the coffee sound that good. <laughs> Who was the snow will take us? Miss Fred? Who was the snow? I'm missing something. Was the snow? Was the snow? Well, take us. Well, take us. Chow looks me, I. So, what this says is that we have. We have a flag, me I, me I. We have a, uh, we have a song for our flag. Yeah, that would have been today. Uh, Yo hey 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 yo hey yo Awe khami shana me kawa lux kuke tuti sha na me ti champa yo hey 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 yo hey yo um takinas um and i we Put the words together for that, and then you made the tune. And then uh, it wasn't until maybe a few years later uh, that it kind of finally caught on. Um, we got to start singing that song during our tribal basketball games, and um, it's been. Uh, we would have had a game Saturday, but I think it got canceled for Nikawi. But you know, they would. Uh, uh, all the kids would set up the drum and sing. And, and it's been a great thing to be able to teach them that uh, just so they could learn the language and so they, they know that don't know that song. So if you want to write the words of that song there, I'll, I'll guide you through that song, that words of that song. Awi Hwamisha. Nami Chawaluk. Itutisha. Ya kuk ituti shanamiti champa. Yes, so uh, our flag is uh, now risen and it stands upon our land.
Yeah, and that's that's pretty much what all that. Hwami is is um, is like high up. Fred Mishiwa Kook. Uh, Kook is uh, for day. Okay. Or today, and then uh, thinking to put it in there. And today it stands. Today it stands upon her land. Yeah, you got to put that in there. Okay. And he, I think, uh, I'm not sure uh, how long... Um, even the Yakima tribe has had their tribal flag as well as the uh, Warm Springs. Because I think, you know, when the tribes had uh, established themselves within their own governments, um, you know, they, they had the, the mind to, you know, um, you know, I guess have maybe logo, logo contests to create flags, and I think uh, seemed like Kelvin Charlie, he's who's passed now over in Yakima, is when I created the Yakima Nation tribal flag, and it's um, and I think it has like 14 feathers on it, re representing the the 14 bands of the Yakima, um, you know, then plus the arrow, the arrow, and their actual, I think they're they're seem like their their council chambers their actual council table is a great big arrowhead. <laughs> Seemed like I went in there and seen that before. Um, I think that's called a, a two-ninch is an arrowhead, two-ninch. But, um, you know, from, you know, the even though maybe they might not have created uh, created the uh, specific songs for their flags, but prior to having those flags, that there were already songs in place that uh, honored the, you know, the probably the Eagle Staffs and those pipes. So those songs were used for those, you know, for those times. So I remember hearing our elders singing songs um, and they would be, you know, like pipe songs. Oh, Kumish. Got a jet. So you got a jet, huh, Dewey? <laughs> yeah, they got a jet, he says. <laughs> Meeting. Okay. In about ten minutes. Oh, Alpam, Alpam, Jetita. Alpam, Alpam, pa winat the pakut yao. Yeah, I was making it for when the bowl there. Did you want it now? Oh, it's gonna show off. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Red. Could I roll it? Fish. You guys eat uh, this husam? What is that? It's husam. Bumberry. Bumberry in an ice cream. Ah. Never, never seen that. Yeah, it's bumberry. Mix it up and call it Indian ice cream. Oh, what's it made from? Foam berries. Oh, foam berries. Yeah. Ah. That's our Is it pretty flavorful. Uh, kind of tart. Ah. Bitter, real bitter. Kinda. Who made it? Leslie. Yeah. Please. We're going to try to butter up our boss or she'll take it easy on us. <laughs> you have to put it on a little stick and then um, put it in wrapping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, let the let the is that something that you can freeze to? The berries you can. Wow, foam berries. Huh. Yeah. So, so it has its own it has its own flavor, huh? Real tart. It's also called soap berry, but um you put the berry in there and then you whip it with um you can add some sugar sugar to it to make it not so tart. Mm. Oh. And it comes out kind of looking like ice cream. I'm not sure. Um, um, I know that this for foam itself is, uh, I think we just say push them. And I'm not sure if that, that does that have its own name? Yeah, it's Kusum uh, is borrowed. We say it's Kusum. Oh. Huh? It's Kusum. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, that's all, that's what you guys call it there, is that that Pusham? It's Kusum. Oh, okay. Skusum. Skusum. Mm -hmm. Okay, Skusum. Okay, some. That's interesting. Um, I'm not sure if uh, I know they said there was going to be on with us, but I don't see that they're on with us. That uh, Bobby and uh, Brosnan, um, Alec Lutt, have you? Do you know if uh, Kakinas has ever made this? Uh, uh, um, no, he hasn't. I don't, I don't think he's made it, but uh, he's tried it. I've had it years ago when I mean, when uh, my, my cousin and I were up that way for uh, one long time ago. We had, had some of that. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be be good to uh, good to try, good to try and um, make it. I guess, huh? I don't even know what the the plant looks like. Some berries are really small, red. They grow up high, kind of a bright red berries. Yeah. You say they grow up high in the high elevations or what? Yeah, high elevation. Oh, okay. I to make sure that I knew that somebody that knew what they were doing and picking might be picking the wrong kind. And <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, I gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah. we got uh, Kumish. Yeah, uh -huh. hello. Yo. Well, it's good that we learn we learned this about um, this particular kind of a, a berry today. Um, let's see what we have written in our book. In our dictionary that for that foam berry, I think it is just known as pusham. Well, it'd be interesting to see, but what if we anybody would know how to make that? Hmm. It just says um, just pusham. But how they say it's chusam, chusam. We just have so imagine that uh, if we do have it, we'll have to see if Bobby Bobby Fawcett can help us out with that. And the my knee, uh, and the my knee wa kenupa kona. Kwana. Um, 
I'm not sure what we would even call it if it has its name. Um, um, Pusham Tamanit. So since it's a berry that has to be picked, so it'd be something that would be some, like what I'm saying here, and the, uh, the top line is Anamaini Iwakinipa. And however that it looks, you know, the, just uh, what, it, what the, the leaves or the, the little bush or whatever that, that it grows on. So who wants to be the scout? <laughs> Jonathan, you're the scout. We'll send you to go find it. Oh, I'm always up for that. <laughs> so merry. Oh, I will keep that. I will keep that. That say, how would you say that? I put some stuff in the chat if you want to take a look at it. It looks like it's also a thing in for the First Peoples in Canada. And there's a book from a guy in Portland. Oh, okay. They call it soap berries. Oh, I see. Soap berry. Maybe it's listed under that. I didn't see it there either, but. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Has anybody ever tried this? This, uh, Berry? Have you tried it, June? I've actually tried it, but with, uh, a guy from Alaska, he was clinking and he brought it in for our celebration for one of our meals. And it was all whipped up. It's made out of those berries and it's a, it's a treat for them, a really big treat. And it is really tart. You have to be ready for kind of like a huckleberry. Choke cherry is right when you take a bite, you know, you, oh. One of those that makes you make all kinds of faces, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should call uh, it face berry. Should call it face berry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that'd be something to kind of find out about. And then, like I said, I'll see if Bobby, because since Bobby and Brosnan, I'm sure they know what that is. Um, and and I think today, yesterday or today, they were starting that. Um, that camp over there in uh, Zumwalt Prairie, over in Wallowa and Joseph, they were doing that that uh, camp out for for gathering for digging mm. Wallowa and Joseph area, where they were going out to dig house. I guess on their that property, they were starting to do that today. Hmm. So what I'm saying is I don't know how it how it looks. Chow shashikosha mani iwakinupa. So here I've been looking at another website with some pictures. Apparently they grow to be about three to six feet tall. And they are in Eastern Oregon, up about these ways. Oh, Kamish. There's another. They're kind of short bushes. Some of them are taller, but a lot of times they're little, real short bushes and they're really tiny berries. So then when you gather them, like you could like it takes a lot to fill like a little cup or jar but then when you whip them up like it only takes a little bit and it makes like a big old ball of foam and then if you don't huh. add sugar it's 
really super tart. So pretty much everybody that makes it adds sugar into it. Mm. Interesting. Do you know, should you not eat very much of it at, at one time, Mercedes? Yeah, it's kind of like those you eat too many cherries type deals. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. Just take a little bite and pass it on. <laughs> Enough to make your face and carry on. <laughs> Okay, so um, um, so that would probably be the the you know try to find out the actual name of these. If, I'm sure there's a name for it, whether it's to, um, you know push them or soap berry or whatever. So that'll be like on my list to figure out the name for that. And the tuni wanisha, and the kuna pchincha, and the kutlaok tuni wa wanichi. You know, because we we think that everything you know is named. Everything has a name, and I'm sure that it does have a name. Uh, years ago, that, yeah. Sorry, there was a real bad uh, delay there. You don't, by chance, happen to have a copy of Ntiwana? Because I know Eugene Hun did a lot of work with plant names, and there's a big long appendix in that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do left my copy at home, but if you want to look up just in the index, if he's got that in there. What would it be under? Foam berry or soap, soap berry? Could be either one. Hmm. Soap. Soap berries. So Max, so Max. Maybe just under berries. I don't see anything under any of those. Um, so, like I said, it'll we'll have to figure that one out, find out what the name of it is, and. Uh, now I want to. I want to try. It. I want to taste it. I want to taste it myself. Just to see what. Just to see how it tastes. It'd be so, our summer project yeah. is the language program. Yeah, that'd be something to, to have to take a trip to the to the high hills and go take a ride. The mm Kumish. -hmm. And turn. Tun mashwa ashapnit. Tun mashwa ashapnit. Um, what questions do you have? Tun mashwa ashapnit. Sinwitna. What questions do you have regarding the language? Mish mashwa tun ashapnit. Whether it's in a chat or if you want to um, ask how we would say or whatever, mani na awancha. And again, like we were saying, I've been teaching the kids that mani, um, uh, how how do we mani na ancha or awancha? How do we say whatever? Um, and doing all we can to. And my knee now, quick, now sinwitsta. You know, only way that we can get people to, I guess, talk straight is if we teach it straight. Subsequent, and the Christ quick want, you know, everything to say, say the words right. Uh, Annie, go ahead. My Nina uh, when ha storytelling. Um, my Nina Owen ha storytelling. Okay, so that's the question. So story stories is uh, 
Tamna Nacht, Tamna Nacht. So if I was to, uh, to begin to say that I'm going to tell a story now, then I would say, Aunesh Tamna Naksha. Aunesh Tamna Naksha. Or with the shash on the end, you would just say, Tamna Nakh. Tamna nach shash au. Tamna nach shash au. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So, so can, could, uh, go ahead. So, on that. Okay, so. Tunmas and Timnas are not the same thing. So that was my question. So I was just trying to figure out if this word, the Timna, Timna Nak, and the Timnas are not the same thing. Okay. So storytelling, I'm assuming, is a compound word. So is Timna a piece of that? Like is, is one piece of oh, its stories um, and one piece of its telling? Timna. It's um, believe it has to do with your heart, you know. You're oh, speaking okay, from right. Your heart. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So, so, um, so would that be different than like if you were gonna say like a tall tale? You know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna tell like uh, like you know how there was uh, tall tales or even like like a coyote story or uh i don't no, i don't even you know what i'm trying to say is you have different kinds of stories that you tell uh if you if you if you're telling a funny story you know that would i guess maybe be a true uh true story that it was uh then it would be uh um uh, mas masawit masawit tamnanach then it would be because masa is funny. So Aush Tamna Naksha Masawit. You know, like um, mm -hmm. something that's funny. But if you're telling a lie, <laughs> you know, just in other words, biasin, then you'd say Aush or Aush Nishkhnawatta. Okay. Or Tuk Tuk Palike. Tuk Palike. I think it. Uh, just kind of just um, saying saying things any old way or whatever. Okay. It just depends. Uh, but uh, oh, I'm not sure if there would like let's say I guess what would be fairy tales or uh, um, you know even when we used to read cartoons, you know, comic books. Um, you know, if, you know, not not that there were actually true stories, but probably based on you know this, you know, but that would probably be like Masawit, you know, Timat, you know, funny, the funny funny books or whatever, Masawit, Timat. Yeah. Isn't there its own name for coyote stories? Well sites. Well sites. Or well sites us. Well sites us. Yeah, well sites us. Sight. Well sites us. Yeah. And again, I'm waiting. I don't know if anybody ever picked up that Anakui Wacha. Uh, has anybody purchased that yet? Uh, uh, the way it was. The book, their second publication, I think it is. I haven't yet. Did they release yeah. it now for sale? I know it was on pre-order. Came out, I think, in January. 
Okay, I'm gonna drop a link to it on a, uh, from Amazon in the chat. Good question. Oh, now it um, says, nope, I think she's right. It now it says June 2021. That's weird. Hmm. What about like oral history? Is there a word for that? Or what? Like oral history? Oral history? Um, well, um, let's see. Oral history, I guess it would be like, uh, Well, I think maybe it would be me ma me tamdanach, or let's see, uh, yeah, tamdanach that, that you know means the stories. But at the same time, because of the history, um, and then because of uh, things that are in the past, that you would be saying uh, like. Anakui wachamimi. Anakui wachamimi. You know how it was a long time ago. Mimi. Yeah. Anakui wachamimi. Yeah. So how it was a long time ago. So, um, you know, when I listen to the, the elders that talk in those recordings that Dewey gave, and uh, it's amazing because they're, each time we listen to it, they hear different different segments of either the names of the places or the names of the what they're doing, the fish that they were fishing for, um, or what they were actually doing. Um, the different terms for like, like uh, fishing. And I think uh, that elder man, he was talking, Sam Sturdis, he talks about what was it, what's it to us, what's it to us. And I think what he was talking about was he was riding on those travois. You know, that was his place to ride. He had to ride on those travois when they would drag the poles. And, uh, you know, he was just a little boy and that was the only place they could put him. And then he had, then uh, when they would, by the time they were done with everything already packed on there, <laughs> he'd be riding on top of that because, you know, it, it was kind of cute how he would tell that story. But yeah, that's, uh, hmm. how it was a long time ago. That'd be a good way to, uh, like, say that. This is how it was a long time ago. Aniku iwacha mimi. Okay. Hey, Fred. Mish. My nina awancha joke or tell a joke. Um, tuk polite, not. Say no, tuk polite. Tuk polite. <laughs> Took polite. Took polite. And is that uh? You think that's related to polite? Yeah, it it because you're 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 just you're just uh, this maybe saying I don't know off the cuff stuff or whatever or just kind of just uh, being goofy or crazy. And then sometimes, you know, when you just, uh, refer to somebody that's uh, like Palai, uh, it's it's not necessarily like somebody that's uh, like uh, inebriated, but, you know, it's just sometimes, you know, they, they have, uh, 
they may be, what is it, uh, uh, special? You know, so there's some, sometimes that reference. Iwapalai. As I, I was emceeing a power one time, and this one woman wanted to wanted to talk. She came up there to to the microphone, and she wanted to talk, and and I didn't know her. She was a an Indian lady, and so I was oh, and then right away someone else that saw saw that she wanted to get on the mic, and he goes, no, don't let her talk, you know. Oh, why? She's polite. Oh, I didn't know that. You know, so I just had to, I uh, just say, I, you know, I'll have to, you know, you know, we, we got to stay with our agenda here. <laughs> so, but, uh, so joking, um, uh, again, um, uh, um, so I think if there's any reference to like, you know, don't be, don't be joking around or don't be, don't be acting crazy, you know, during this time, it's, it's a serious time. So, um, you know, chow them what the balai, you know, don't, don't be crazy or goofy, chow them what the balai. Yeah, uh, don't be out of line. In Hey, Fred, I have a question. Uh, uh, I, you know, we hear a lot about the whip man and being serious, you know, in uh, situations, different situations. Um, is there kind of like, a, and obviously there is a really important role of like, you know, comedian joker in our contemporary society. And, but, what about like in the old days, was there kind of like a joker role as like a, like, or was that also the whip man? Was there kind of an anti-whip man out there? Um, anybody that's, uh, that would be funny or just maybe just even do that as a comedian or somebody that, that uh, uh, because of the word masa. So you would just add that masawitla, masawitla. So that would be somebody that you know is, uh, uh, you know, has that role of, you know, um, being like a funny or jokester or clown. Um, so. That's probably the my conclusion on that. How that would come out. Um, same with um, um, even the other word that took took like slay, took like slay. Yeah. So same with that. Just. Uh, that answer your question, Alan? Uh, yeah, basically. I mean, I wonder, you know, what was there like a formalized thing the same way, you know, people talk about formal, formalized Whitman role in the past, but I don't know how I would ask if that, if there was per se. I remember, uh, seeing uh, some kind of a story and I was just a kid, but I don't remember the story, but I remember seeing this man and I think he was from Fort Hall and uh, he was telling a story. Um, I don't know if he was telling it with someone else or somebody was narrating it, but it seemed like it was a lot of, uh, just using body language and because he would run around and he was he was doing things just just running around on the floor and then you know and whatever he was doing and he was just doing a lot of pantomiming with his body and his facial expressions or whatever and uh, he just had everybody just laughing 
you know, just a cool Mike Nifi, a Patia Shana, Tlauk Shiman, Tlauk Shiman, Patia Shana. You know, they were, everybody was laughing really good. Um, and a Kunki, Awacha, and a Kush Taut Nook. You know, like from that was, uh, uh, you know, was probably some good medicine. And, uh, you know, how sometimes that, that can happen for people. And um, I know there's been times I, when I was younger, I would get into a, just a goofy way. I'd say things or whatever. I would just, and sometimes I'd end up making some of those old ladies laugh. And I didn't expect to, and then they would get to laugh, and and they and then you know some of those old ladies when they'd laugh, you know, they just really get into it, you know. And then once they'd calm down and goes, oh, i just that's what I needed, you know, I just really needed a good laugh. And uh, here I just like, oh, I mean to see you get so carried away laughing. <laughs> but you know, I kind of got that from my grandma because she was like that. She was always telling stories. I could saknini tumna nachen chana tukin, you know, saknin it tumna nachen chana tukin. She would always be telling stories about something, you know, a lot of stories, and uh, and that elder lady, Mary Gibson, and she had the really high pitched laugh. You could just sound like magpies up, you know, in the trees, you just, you know, <laughs> just making all kinds of noise. But it was just, you know, a lot of fun. Tia, Tia, Patia, Tia, Chana. Yeah. Tia, Iwa, Nih. Laughter is good. Mm -hmm. Do you laugh much, Ryan? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. You ever have a funny, funny situation? You ever have a funny uh, matter happen, or you seen something that was funny lately? Or, um, well, mm. I'm in insurance, so uh, lots of funny things happen in insurance. But you <laughs> just have to try and help people roll with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I guess, yeah. uh, let's see. So, Anas wa an sapnit. And then that, oh, yeah. Scroll up. So, uh, how do you say the screen isn't scrolled up? So, I can't look at it and see how what I'm supposed to read, what I'm supposed to say. So, my Nina, Awin, Awan, Awanha, Awan, Awanha, insurance. Oh, wow. Uh, Is that even a concept? I mean, I'm assuming that's. Yeah, I'm sure that. Uh, um, I guess it would be like, uh, because uh, what it implies, what it implies protection, right? Protection, uh, house, car, I guess. Uh, um so I'd imagine that it would be like Shapawa Nuk Nuitai. Shapawa Nuk Nuitai. That's just kind of an off the cuff thought. But same so now time, is that a compound word again? So is that is that like, does that break down? Okay, okay Nuk Nuit Nuk Nuit is the care, the okay. care part. Nuk Nuit. Okay. But also, napayu uh, with uh, yao, maybe napayu with yao. 
So that Napayu, um, because I remember asking about uh, um, what were soldiers called, you know, or in veterans, and one of the words that was referred to was uh, Napayu Slama, Napayu Slama. So that had to do with protectors, but in the sense of a word by itself, um, Napayu it, you know, the protecting of. Mm. So. uh, so I could, I would imagine that could work for that. Napayuit, yeah, the protecting of insurance. So, yeah. and in the, what's the sapa on the front? Sapa. Shapawa, shapawa, shapan, shapawa naknui. I think it would just be shapan, shapan naknui, shapan naknui instead of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's like protecting yeah. yourself. Is that right, Fred? Uh, Pinanaknuit is when you take care of yourself. Right. And then this has to do with um, the, the care of Shpanaknuit, the caring of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question because. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a requirement today. Um, you know, and a lot of times it it you know it's just it's just common what we have to um, what we have to do. Um, we used to have one elder. He would get just frustrated when he'd get his paycheck, and he would say, "La mate, it's gets way," you know, "La mate." It's gets away, and here what he meant by that was, you know, this is so bothersome, this money, you know, because it would just go from his hand and go straight to whatever he had to pay for. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, but uh, yeah, then the Knuit, um, so insurance, like I said, protecting, um, uh, or to make sure that you're, you know, taken care of, I guess, especially if you have a. Uh, you know, anything go wrong with your car or whatever. Because um, if you're washa ti us, washa ti us, and then it's like saying you're you're not you're not paid up. In other words, mm. right? Washa ti us, not paid up. Um, eh, but Keksha, Chai Kancha. Oh, they want money again. Shina, Kwai insured slam and, you know, the insured people. But Keksha, Chai Kamina. They always want money. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's a good question. So, my Nina, my Nina Aunha insurance, uh, like Shapanak Nui. Um, or Pinagna Knuit or Napayuit Yao, the protecting of. Okay. Thank you. Forget, how do you say that? E. E. Um, Fred, do you mentioned the other day about money, the word for money as meaning like value or respect or something like that. Um, can you explain that again? Because is there is there ever a word that refers to the exchange of of money as a form of you know shapa naknui? How's that again? Uh you mentioned the other day this, yeah, this hachaikwa, like as something that money, but also you said it was something else, like used ceremonially, like the word was used to refer to something that's not literally like the way money is used in a lot of our lives, but as some kind of exchange. And I wonder if, and value, I wonder if this shapanaknui 
there's another word related to Shapanaknui that is that is connected to Hachaikma. Well, uh, it's it's um, a lot of times that's kind of a, a tough one to try to explain because it has spiritual context. Uh, you know, it has it has its place. Uh, um, like the things that are that are valuable to us, I guess the things that will glow for us in our lives, and that's what that's what that chay chay implies chay chay um, the things that you know, like I said, that we lay up in store in our in our lives that that will, I guess, help us. Um, in that, uh, you know, for the benefit of our own selves spiritually, and 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 I, I've never learned to use that word yet in that that spiritual sense yet because because it it has to be said, uh, you know, in its right place, uh, you know, just like. We know that chayk, you know, implies a, you know, physical thing also, of, you know, of the things that is valuable, like, you know, what is, the, what money is, but also like reading, you know, from the, the old elders uh, writing when they were talking about the Chinese people down, you know, uh, south, south of here, pachayk uh, win hana. And what that implied was that they were, they were mining, they were digging for something that was valuable. So it has that, uh, you know, that context of what is valuable. Yeah, and like I said, uh, I heard my yaya speak this um, this height. Um, You know, just in in the, the I mean, the only seemed like he was. Uh, you don't really hear it spoken out that way a lot, but him and some of our other elders that know how to speak that way, they know how to speak it in the proper way. Yeah. Hey, okay. Watch this. Watch hey. A type of beetle. The dictionary says it is a type of beetle called a. I can show you a picture if you want, but I don't know. Do you know anything about that? No. Yeah. It's apparently this golden bu golden buprested beetle. Or if Damien, if you're still on here, do you know what's up with that? Oh, yeah, because it's the way it looks. Okay. Probably because of the golden part, huh? Mm -hmm. Because of it has that glow, that glow to it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, like shining, or like like is a ashy. <laughs> yeah, there was a beetle um, that its shell or whatever its wings it was uh, kind of shiny, kind of a golden, some kind of a beetle, and it was called chayk, or it was referred as chayk. Long time ago, the stick game players used to. Uh, Windham G. Just listen. The like like the people that used to play stick game or play cards, and it was kind of like a good luck charm, and how that began with a beetle. I don't know or how that started, but I just remember hearing little stories about how they used to 
put that beetle, if, if they found it just randomly and they would like stick it in their wallet or their purse or wrap it up like a good luck charm. Yeah. That's all I do. Hmm, interesting. It was that kind of beetle, Janice? That's what she is. That's what she was saying. Um, if it was that kind of a beetle, I guess, and then they'd <laughs> stick it in her wallet or purse or whatever. <laughs> uh, first time I heard that story. Pushpiao, uh, when it drops down, you put it in your wallet. Mm. That little, that little tiny spider. <laughs> That one's also <laughs> But there's that there's a, there's, a, there's a small spider. It's really it's little. You gotta catch it when it's falling down in your wallet or your purse. You know, bring good luck, you know, money spider, how to call it. So little moment can barely. You kind of feel them. You see them. They have little tiny legs. I mean, when you catch it, you catch it when it's falling down. No, don't, don't try to catch it when it's climbing back up the web, or it's going to take money from you. You got to catch it when it's coming down. Well, yeah. Mm. Another thing that what um, that beetle represented too is good luck. What um, Amiya was talking about. Okay. I mean, it's kind of almost like a you say a, a penny. You find a penny on the ground. You, uh, hey, good luck charm on a penny. And I think that, that bug, that beetle was the same way. You know, see them, you don't see them very much. I'm guessing that was the same, the same, same idea back then. Yeah. Uh Kush Fish Shwa Masatamna Nacht Nishabnawasha. I have a story that I'm remembering. Nach a winch hatwe. One uh, one man who's a friend. Alkun iwa ata tamaina tawas kni. He he just got out of jail. Alkuit kunai tishana yakmapa. He was walking in Yakima, and I think it must have been around midnight or after, whenever. Nakui Iwa Asha Kwai Asusatama. He walked into a phone booth. He's going to make a phone call. Nakui Nche. Wahal Khali. And they found a big spider in there. A kui kawan pan uh nakushai sit pamatimash ki. He got uh, his little uh, uh like a napkin. I just said a snot rig <laughs> with his uh, napkin and he grabbed that and he wrapped it up in his uh in that napkin and he placed it in his uh what do you call it his pocket and so he walked this uh police officer and he seen him, he was walking. He said, Mishna Ma Mishna, what are you doing? Ah, Chao Mish, Spile Nish, Nish, Nish Atten, Tamayna Taos. I just got out of the jail, you know, just, I'm just walking. It's Mish Mishwa, Kwai, Nikush, Malat out, no, Kamish. Do you have, uh, do you have any drugs? Chow, ah, talfan kway and a tuniwa imil tatpaspa. You know, empty out what you have in your pocket. You got anything? I don't have anything, officer. 
So he made him take out whatever is in his pockets, and here he, he handed that uh, napkin over to that officer, and that and that officer was looking at that and goes, "Oh, he said he didn't have any drugs." And that that my partner is, "Nah, that's not drugs, but I wouldn't open that if I was you." <laughs> Says, oh, you don't want me to open this. I'm trying to hide something, huh? So he opened it up. Here, that spider jumped out of that. <laughs> just started just yeah. crawling up his shirt. I guess, boy, this made him jump. And <laughs> he's trying to get rid of that spider. I guess I was pretty big when he goes, I told you not to open it. <laughs> says, you just get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, with um, Tim Thompson. I would cry out for me and tell the night that goes with me and Mimi. Tell me what time that's been. It's been pretty crazy. To have something like that happen. Yeah, so a khal khali is a spider, and the reason they call it that is because it's got all those legs and feet, you know, wa khal khali. So wa khah itself is, uh, you know, feet or foot or leg. It's just got all those legs. Yeah, wahal khali. Now, by chi kwal na wawina. Chi subsequent, chi kuk. Maybe as far as we can go today with that, uh, with what we've shared. Niku ancha. Chao pamalak da alikalat. Uh, our subsequent metapsquipa. And don't forget that Damien also has a class on Wednesdays at 11. Wednesdays at 11. So log in too on his and then uh, next day on mine here. So Wednesdays and Thursdays at 11. For anyone, for anyone interested, I'll drop a link to the language program's website where you can find the Zoom information. Thank you. Uh, Ni. Can I ask uh, one more question? Boomish. I know that Khali Khali, it might be, is that it has something to do with being striped. Like the canyon wren is a bird that's striped, or tiger as Khali Khali. This doesn't have anything to do, like, with a pattern that's no, on it? No, no, this is wahal khali. Okay. Wahal khali. Yeah, it has to do with the legs and the feet. Okay. But khali khali, I'm sure that if you're seeing that, that has something to do with something else. Stripe this. Okay. Is that what it implies? Uh, stripes? Um, yeah, so Damien, you've talked about that before uh, with regard to the name for tiger. And then Canyon Wren, Khali Khali. And yeah. it has stripes on its tail feathers. Mm -hmm. And it's also one we use, it's used a lot to that term when we're talking about, especially in the medicine dance, when we're describing a lot of the blankets, the Nikhiawi, Lao Lawi, the striped blankets, the Khali Khali. So when they. Khali Khali. Yeah, Khali Khali. So when it came mm. to the time of um, naming, or once a student in the past asked about um, what we what we call a tiger, well, me and Dad talked about it, and as I came across that word. I thought, I thought about Khali Khali. <clears throat> said it's name of the blankets. So yeah, I make that that would work. Khali. So it said came, so you put the ya on there like spilia, the so Khali Khali ya. Give it. Uh, the name of tiger, Khali Khaliya. Hmm. Gumish. Thank you. Okay. So thank you all for uh, logging on. Uh, Ryan, Mercedes, Alikla, Annie, Jonathan, yeah. Yeah. Jean, Alan. Yawa Shamash. Yawa Shamash. Yeah. 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 Y